Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shamir Nicole and welcome. So today I just got finished doing a Sally's run. I had to pick up a few more items for home to do my daughter's hair today. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I got, but also I wanted to help you guys. So I'm going to be the plug today. So today I want to share with you guys the number one blow dryer that I recommend to my friends, to my family, to my clients who want to take care of their hair at home and cannot always get to me for a salon appointment. I'm going to share with you my number one pick for a blow dryer for natural hair. So most of my clients have natural hair and they like to be able to maintenance their hair at home. Of course, I highly recommend that you are washing your hair in between salon visits. So I wanna make sure that you have the right tools to do so. So the blow dryer I'm gonna be showing you is actually from Sally's Beauty Supply. You can get this at other online retailers, but that's typically where I get this blow dryer. Again, this is the blow dryer I use every single day. I have purchased this blow dryer numerous times and yeah I think it's the best blow dryer for natural hair this is the silver bird blow dryer again if you guys are new to my channel you have seen me use this blow dryer but I wanted to do a I guess a, a review of this blow dryer to actually formally show you what I'm currently using why I love it and show you what's inside the box so you're going to get the blow dryer and it's going to come with two attachments. It's going to be, of course, well, three pieces in the box, but it comes with two attachments. So it's going to be the actual blow dryer. Okay, let me take all this stuff out of the box so we don't make too much noise. Right back. Okay, we got everything out now. So you're going to get your blow dryer. You are going to get your two attachments. So the first attachment is going to be your nozzle. This is what you will use at the end of your blow dryer. If you like to use a roll brush, if you like to use a paddle brush to blow dry your hair. But one of the reasons why I like to use this blow dryer and recommend this blow dryer to my clients and just everyone is because of the comb attachment a lot of times when you are trying to maintenance your hair at home you don't know how to properly blow dry you don't know how to use a paddle brush and a nozzle to get a really smooth blow dry so I always recommend that you use a comb attachment because it helps to detangle the hair it helps you to work in smaller sections and it gives you a really good finish so of course, you would just place the attachment on the end of your blow dryer. Same thing with, of course, your nozzle. And then you continue to blow dry. Um, it does come with, you know, the traditional plug and your reset buttons that come on a normal blow dryer. Also, this blow dryer is 2,000 watts. So typically, um, your wattage for blow dryers is between 1875 and I've actually seen blow dryers go up to 2200 watts and even more. But this one is 2,000 watts. So it's kind of like right in between that um, industry standard, if you will. Um, I like this blow dryer because again, it is 2000 watts, which means that it has the ability to get hot as I would need it to be because again, I do use this blow dryer at the salon. So I use this on my clients. This is not a, a sponsored thing. I actually use this and I have it. While we're doing this, I want to tell you guys what this button is. A lot of people don't know what the cool shoe is used for. So um, I do have clients who have all hair texture. So for my clients who have a straighter hair texture and I'm doing a blowout and that would typically be with a large round brush. When I am roll brushing the hair, I don't have a, I don't have a brush in here guys. Yeah, Let's use this one. <laughs> so for the second conversation, if we're doing a, um, a blowout and I'm using a paddle brush, I will blow dry the hair and then if I am trying to create a curl with my roll brush, I will curl the hair like so. Let's just try to do it like that. I will curl the hair just like this. And then the blow dryer, of course, will be hot. When you are curling your hair, blow drying your hair, and you want to be able to set the style or set the curl, you need to cool off. That's why pin curling and roller setting um, work so well. So you want to kind of create that same thing with your blow dryer. So remember your blow dryer is hot. Then you press this blue button in the middle, which is your cool, 
cool shoots when you press your cool shoot it will then set your curl in place so it will cool down the hair and then while the hair is cooling down that means that whatever shape your hair is in that's how it's going to set or stay so you press cool shoot and then while the hair is cooling off you will then notice that you have a beautiful curl on the end so a lot of times people don't know how to use this so you can use this with straight hair curly hair doesn't matter I highly recommend using the cool shoot if you are blow drying your hair and your hair is natural because you know that once the hair starts to expand and it's still warm it will revert back so the cool shoot will help to stop your hair from reverting back to its natural hair texture now I know that I kind of went on a tangent, but you know, I can't help it guys. Like when I'm talking about hair stuff, I like to give you all the tips. <laughs> so yeah, this is the blow dryer that I like. Again, this is the Silverbird. This is actually by Con Air. I've been saying Silverbird for so long. Uh, I keep forgetting what retailer it is, but this is actually made by Con Air. When I started doing hair many years ago, I used to use this blow dryer and it was called Yellowbird. It is a bright, yellow blow dryer it's like the baby sister to this one i mean she's bright bright yellow um i think i actually might still have no i don't um but yeah it was like bright like this it was bright yellow so it's a bright yellow blow dryer that i would use and that thing got me through the toughest of times <laughs> so when I started to of course make money in my industry and start getting clients on a regular I was able to afford more stuff and within my career I purchased blow dryers that are $200 I purchased blow dryers that were $50 and to be quite honest I always come back to this blow dryer um it works for me it's not that expensive I believe it's under $50 and it does the trick it works on everybody's hair texture. I don't have any problems with it. It gets hot enough. It doesn't burn people's hair when I'm using it. And the people that I recommend it to love it as well. And also, one thing I need to mention is the blow dryer is not heavy. So you're able to use it on your hair and you can use it when you're doing someone else's hair and it's not so heavy that it becomes cumbersome when you are trying to use it. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Again, this is a blow dryer I use. A lot of times people may want to know or they're looking for a blow dryer that's inexpensive or a blow dryer they can use on natural hair that will work. This one is definitely a blow dryer that I know works because I use it every single day, seven days a week. Like I literally use this every single day. So that's it guys. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up to my channel. I'm going to be doing more hair tip Tuesdays and more videos like this. Giving you all the tips on how you can grow your hair. You can maintain your hair and just be good to your hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.